and welcome to my YouTube video. So this week I thought we'd do something a little bit different and I'd give you a whistle stop tour of Procreate and then we would paint something. So let's begin. So this is my iPad and I have an Apple Pencil which is pressure sensitive. This is the Procreate program. There are different controls at the top. So we've got paintbrush. Within this icon, we've got lots of different tools to draw with. So we've got um, tools for sketching, we've got pencils, we've got an uh, ink pen, we've got artistic things that give you nice textured things, paint brushes, um, lots and lots of different ones um, to choose from. So um, on the right, far right hand side, we have the colours panel. And this is where you select all your different colours that you want to draw with. So I have green selected here. So I can, if I press my Apple Pencil, you can see if I press really hard, it comes out really quite thick. And if I press lightly, it comes out really quite transparent. That is the pressure sensitivity of the Apple Pencil. I can select the shape that I've painted like so and then I can flip it, I can turn it around, I can reverse it. Um, so you, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. So there's lots of different things that you can do to the objects that you're painting. If you don't like what you've painted, you can erase it by selecting the eraser tool at the top um, part where the paintbrush and the colour tool is. And you can choose different types of rubber. So there's hard rubbers, soft rubbers. And the, the pressure sensitivity of the Apple Pencil is really great because if you press really, really hard, it disappears very quickly. If you press very lightly, it only sort of erases it in part and you're left with sort of a residue of the colour. So your layers panel then is a really powerful tool. So I'll just show you how it works. You can add layers by pressing the plus sign just like this. And each layer can contain a new piece of artwork. So it gives you a lot of options as to whether you want to paint on top of things, paint underneath things, um, rub bits out, show bits of the layers from behind. It really is, it's a very powerful tool that kind of lets you play about with your artwork very much, but without actually losing anything. So all I'm doing really is just using different colours on different layers so you can sort of see the effects that you can get. You can add different adjustments to your layers just like so. So there's lots of different things you can choose between that will give you lots of different effects. Some of them are quite dramatic, some of them are not that dramatic they you hardly see any change at all but it's it's really good to have a play about with this because it can really change the look of your artwork without you actually having to do anything to it except select a different option so moving on then we have the color select tool in the top right hand corner there are a number of different layouts, so it really just depends which one you prefer. I'm currently in the classic version. The top slider adjusts the colour. The middle slider selects the, uh, the temperature. And the bottom slider, it selects what tonal value you want. So I'm just going to move through the different um, layout colour versions for you so you can see them briefly. You'll see that each one is slightly different and it gives you a slightly different option like um, giving you complementary colours. Um, also um, others give you um, a whole range of colours that work really well together which is really good if you struggle to plan your colour harmonies in your artwork. So I'll just select the classic one then because that's the one that I tend to use. And you'll see that on the left hand side you have an ability to be able to control the opacity of the paint and colour that you're using and the, um, the slider above it adjusts the size. So that's whether you have a big paintbrush or a small paintbrush. And it works exactly the same for the eraser icon. If you want to delete um, a layer, you just go into your layers panel, slide the icon to the left and it deletes it. If you want to move it, you just pull it down just like so. 
So let's just delete that all and let's have a go at painting something. So the principles I use to do these little illustrations are exactly the same principles that I use for doing any piece of artwork. So I start off with planning my composition and you can see I've used the harmonic armature as my starting point and I'm planning two point perspective. So I'm just sketching things out and just trying to figure out exactly where everything is going to go. And then once I've done this, I'll turn it into a, a value sketch so that I know where my lights and my darks are going to be exactly like this and I'm just working through on various layers as I do it so on the first layer I'll have my pencil sketch on the second layer I'll have my um, my value sketch and then on the third and subsequent layers I'll start adding the color so initially I thought on this one I was going to go for a red and a sort of an olive green um harmony sort of color scheme however that red i had such difficulty with that red you can see i'm working really really hard to try and get my color harmonies to work and um, i'm working through all the different color um harmonies that i think is going to make that red work with a green and you know what i just i can't find it and so um I gave up with that in the end and I, I had it a completely different go with a different red and I selected a much more of a brown red so that I could then um, work around the colours more of red and yellow ochre. But you can see that I still have the original red underneath and I'm allowing this to show through um, my, my top red layer. So I have a lot of layers um, on this, this sketch from the initial two layers of the, um, the pencil sketch and then the value sketch. The value sketch is still underneath. It hasn't gone anywhere, but I'm just working um, above that on subsequent layers. So once you've done something that you're happy with, it's time to export it into either a TIFF or a JPEG and um, send it to the printers and, and see what it looks like. What you need to do then is you need to go into the spanner at the top left, click on that and then select what, um, what you want. So here we're going to go for a JPEG. So here are some that I did earlier then. You can see you can have such fun in Procreate. You can turn your artwork into pretty much anything. Cards, prints, you name it, you can do it. So have a go, be creative.